Hi, welcome to Henry AI Labs. This video is going to cover DeepWalk. DeepWalk is a mechanism to encode uh, social networks based on their connectivity, and it was published in 2014. The idea behind DeepWalk is to use some of the advances in language modeling to do graph modeling. So the way that this works is in language models, you have text tokens, which could be represented as these one-hot encoded vectors that would have a zero for every single word in the vocabulary and then a one for the word you're trying to represent. So in this, this diagram shows the cat representation would have many zeros on the left and right of the one. So in a sense, it's like a really sparse vector and it would be really hard to train a machine learning model in these sparse representations. So similar to language, uh, vertices in a graph and their edges are encoded in, in the same way. You'd have a one for the other vertex that it's connected to in the graph and then zeros for all the vert vertices it's not connected to. So word to vec is uh, this idea that you take these context windows of words, such as in the sentence, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog, you have these context pairs like quick fox, brown fox, and jumps fox. And, the, and it's like when you have enough data, it's sort of like it'll become a semantic space because the context actually does give you a lot of information about the text. And so similar to text, you say that uh, a random walk on vertices can construct a similar sequence that is like analogous to a sentence. So you have these contexts like v2, v5, and v3, v5, and you use them to predict each other in the context, and thus you construct like a dense continuous vector representation of this sparse data via the context prediction mechanism. So this quickly uh, shows like what a random walk is and how this is used to construct these like sentences to embed uh, vertices similar to how language is done. So when you are at one vertex, you have these probabilities of transitioning to other vertices. But in the case of, um, of like a, a social network graph, you wouldn't really weight the transition probabilities like PQ and one minus P plus Q. You just have like a uniform distribution and you'd randomly go, oh, you just randomly sample it to go to the next vertice. So this is the formal definition of the deep walk algorithm. On the left it shows um, you slide the context window. What they do is they uh, do something called hierarchical softmax to reduce the computational complexity of it, but that's out of the scope of this video. But So what they do is they slide the window and then they use the skipgram model to encode the vertices into a low dimensional space. So this plot shows what the point of doing this is. On the left you have uh, the sparsely connected graph and you can see from this plot how each vertice is only connected you know like the most connected uh, or like the highest degree of any vertice in this graph is maybe like six. So to have and there's 34 nodes in the graph so it'd be like 28 zeros and six ones in the sparsely encoded vector that shows the connections it has. So what they do is they take the graph on the left and they use deep walk and embed it into the plot on the right. And the idea is that the plot on the right will preserve the, the shortest path distance between nodes on the left. And then also, hopefully, it'll preserve the labels. So like similar to any machine learning model, you label the vertices in the graph according to their communities. And then you do some clustering and try to preserve these labels with the embedding. So in their study, the authors who uh, came up with deep walk they tested it on blog catalog, Flickr, and YouTube. And these are all like social network data sets where users are connected to each other and they are labeled according to their interests, like what kind of videos they're watching, what kind of photos they're sharing, and these kinds of things. So the idea behind DeepWalk is that you can take these sparsely encoded graphs and then you can construct a feature space based on their connectivity and this low dimensional space can be used to train machine learning models to predict the interests of future users. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, check out the article on DeepWalk on Henry AI Labs.